I am a net setter. <laughs> Every day I'm not at sea, I'm here. We used to call the, used to call the people who used to do these the shore captains. Shore captain, they would call them. And they're the people, the older ones who didn't go fishing so much now, and they would do this, do the nets and the loft work. I'm usually down here by about quarter to twenty past six, and I usually finish about three, four o'clock. So it's a long old day. It's a long old day. But I enjoy what I do. <laughs> This is the filling needles. That's what called. These are called Danish oak mended needles, so you can save a lot of work by hand because you used to have to do it by hand before. And it used to take a couple of hours a night to do them, but now it's a lot quicker with the machine. Well, if you go back in Snows, well, quite a few years ago, it was a Quite a few of these buildings. Now this one is the last one. If this one goes, that's it. There is no more. And it's been a wonderful relationship over the years with the artist and the fisherman. As I say, the fishermen have had, had the bottoms, and the artists have had the studios. And it's been well, well over a hundred years, and they should be kept because they're not museums. They're worked in. Snows, I don't know if you know, is divided into up long and down long. And the down long part now, the old fisherman's quarter, is now nothing but holiday homes. Now, I think there might be a, a dozen people live here all the year round, local people. The rest are holiday flats for two or three years, two or three months out of a year, if that. No, it's killed the community of this town, ruined it. Knives was built on the pilchard industry and the place we're in now is the was the old cooperage where they used to make the barrels one of the lofts next door was the salt cellar where they used to keep the salt and the big loft in there where the tanks are is where they used to preserve the fish pack the fish and send them put them in barrels and send them off well basically more to Italy than anywhere of course, like everything else now, there's no pilchard, so they're now used as hot fishermen's lofts and the top parts are used as artist studios. I know the pipes of the columns in next door, they came from the old tin mines. They were iron pipes that they used to pump the water out from the mines because the mines were very, very wet. So they used to have big pumping engines and they used to pump the water out and that's where they the columns in some of the um, supports in the other loft are from. You know, these, as I say, they're not museums. The people, people still work and earn a living in these sort of places. They've certainly de deteriorated within in the last few years. I must be honest. Yeah, they have. If there's no real history, there's no future, as far as I'm concerned. People got to learn, or must must learn what happened years ago to realise what their grand grandfathers and great grandfathers actually had to do years ago to make a living. And I think if you lose your your, your culture you lose everything. <laughs>